This video is part two of a three-part series drawn from a full-length exploration of the Karash II Cemetery, one of the richest burial sites of the Hungarian conquest period. In this segment, we focus on Grave K260, the elderly warrior with deep eastern roots. Let us journey back in time and meet the man of Grave K260. Buried more than a millennium ago, this elderly individual classified as having Europo-Mongoloid features, likely over 60, lived a notably long life for his time, suggesting resilience and elevated social standing. His reconstructed face, crafted by Eula Skoltidi in the 1980s, shows an aging warrior, a strong, weathered face with subtle eastern features, evoking the image of an elder steppe noble. Genetically, he carried Y-DNA haplogroup C2, M86 a lineage common among Mongolian and Siberian populations, but extremely rare in Europe. His paternal line most likely traces back to Central Asia, possibly even linked to the Xiongnu or early Hun nomads, groups whose influence stretched far across Eurasia. K260's maternal haplogroup in 101A1A1A has been classified in a Hungarian study as originating from the Eastern Steppe, with parallels to Xiongnu-affiliated populations. According to haplotree.info, this lineage is found exclusively in archaeogenetic samples from populations of the Eastern and Central Eurasian steppe, including the kushnarenkovo karyapovo cultures, notably at the Yelgi site, closely linked to 10th century Hungarians, as well as among the Pazaric, early Sarmatians, a Mongol period individual, and the conquering Hungarians themselves, together with his C2, M217 paternal lineage. K260 represents a distinctly eastern genetic profile within the Karash II cemetery. While we don't have a full inventory of his grave goods published, it's likely he was buried as a mounted warrior elite, with weapons, horse equipment, and ornaments symbolizing his high status, much like other prominent graves of the era. Though some details, like his precise grave goods, are still missing. K260 stands out as a vivid reminder of the Eastern roots woven into the birth of Hungary.